Hotspot Shield has 1,800 plus servers in over 80 countries, and it claims to be one of the fastest VPNs in the world. Not only that, but it has a free plan, which is something you just don't see every day. Kind of like a hummingbird. <laughs> you probably don't see one of those every day either. With all the buzz about Hotspot Shield, I decided to test it out to see if it's really all that. Is the free plan worth using? Do the paid plans give you good value for your money? And if you've been thinking about giving Hotspot Shield a try, then definitely keep watching because I'm going to tell you if it really is as fast as it claims to be too. We'll also check out if it's a good VPN for your needs, whether that's streaming, gaming, torrenting, or just keeping yourself safe online. Now, in the meantime, don't forget to give this video a good old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more great video reviews just like this one in the future. So let's start by looking at the purchase and installation. So Hotspot Shield does have a free version, but it's kind of limited. You can also choose one of the two premium plans though. I've added a link in the description box. It's going to take you straight to the Hotspot VPN download page. You can pay with a credit card or a debit card, PayPal, Google Pay, and a few others. My review is based on the Windows app, but Hotspot Shield is compatible with many other platforms, including Mac OS, Android, iOS, and Linux. There's also an extension for Chrome and apps for smart TVs and routers. And then once you've downloaded the right version, run the installer file and follow the prompts to complete the installation of Hotspot Shield on your device. Then launch the app and you're going to be directed to a page where you can fill out your details to set up an account, and then just enter your email address and password. After you get the email verification, sign in and choose your preferred server location from the drop-down list titled Virtual Location. Now you're going to see a long list of countries. You can click on each one to see the list of the server location in that particular country, but just keep in mind that if you're using the free version, you can only connect to a US server. And then once you've selected a server, click the connect button to turn on the VPN, and it should only take a few seconds to connect really. Now let's check out what Hotspot Shield's user experience is like. Now nobody wants to spend hours trying to figure out how their VPN works. I mean, I've not actually verified that, but I'm pretty sure nobody does. I like a VPN that's easy to use, not a VPN that gives me a headache. Hotspot Shield's interface is simple, and I like it. It's easier to navigate than some VPNs, and it's easier to browse through the server locations. And I like how each country is marked with a flag. If you know what you want and you don't feel like browsing, there's a search bar at the top, and that makes it even easier to find your preferred location. And then once you know where you're going, the connect button is hard to miss. Once you're connected, you can see all the information right here in the app. You've got your server location, your connection status, load times, and data usage too. So let's check out the streaming and unblocking. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate geoblocks. I like using a VPN to access TV shows and movies that are otherwise blocked to me. So once I installed Hotspot Shield and figured out how to use it, the first thing I wanted to know was whether it could unblock some popular platforms. Well, if you're on the free plan, you're gonna find out pretty fast that you can't stream anything. Hotspot Shield will hit you with this paywall every time you try accessing a site like Netflix or BBC iPlayer. And if you upgrade to a paid plan, you can use Hotspot Shield to unblock streaming sites. Now, I could easily access Netflix US, BBC iPlayer, Hulu and Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime Video, which is great. Some of these sites are tricky though, because in addition to Geoblocks, they also use anti-VPN software. And in some cases, they did take more than one try to unblock, and I had to switch servers a couple of times too. Now, if you're looking for a VPN that you can easily access just about any site you throw at it, I'd recommend ExpressVPN. It's one of the best VPNs for streaming, hands down. And I've got a link with a discount code for you in the description below. So what about the speeds? Well, Hotspot Shield can unblock streaming platforms for you, but that wouldn't be any good if the speeds were too slow to stream, right? On Hotspot Shield's website, you're going to see a lot of talk about the fast connection speeds, mostly credited to its proprietary encryption protocol known as Hydra VPN. So I really wanted to know if all the hype around this VPN holds any water. Now the download speeds were pretty decent in all the server locations I tried out, including the US, UK and Germany. The speeds were actually quite stable too. But they weren't as good as what ExpressVPN offers. However, they are probably enough for your streaming needs. Now, if you're into your online gaming, low speeds and lagging can make you angry enough to just smash your controller against the wall. And as you may have guessed, I was looking forward to testing whether Hotspot Shield could boost my gaming experience. Now, I have to say that I was very impressed with what I found. 
My overall online gaming experience was pretty smooth and the speeds were even faster than usual, which makes me wonder if my ISP has been throttling me. Hmm. I also experienced reduced latency by redirecting my internet traffic from what I assume was a congested network to a less cramped one. Apart from improving gaming performance, I like that I could also access GeoBlock games that I previously just couldn't find on my online gaming store, which is pretty cool, right? And then torrenting. Well, if you're an avid torrenter, you'll want to make sure your connection is secure and private. Now, Hotspot Shield will encrypt your traffic and hide your P2P activity from your ISP. It's actually quite convenient for P2P file sharing because it has a big network of 1800 servers that all support P2P traffic. And you get great upload and download speeds as well. But just like with streaming, Hotspot Shield's free version doesn't support torrenting, so you're gonna need to upgrade. And be sure to check out the discount link in the description before you make a payment. Now the next thing I wanted to check out was Hotspot Shield security and privacy features. I'd say this VPN is solid when it comes to data encryption. It offers AES 256-bit encryption, which is the industry standard, and I wouldn't recommend any VPN providing anything less than that. Hotspot Shield doesn't store your online activity logs, which should come as a relief. However, the service does store other details like your email address, network information, device used, username and language. Now, according to the developers, this information is collected and used as insights to improve user experience. Personally, I'm okay with that though, but if you're not, I completely understand. Hotspot Shield also has an auto kill switch that disconnects your device from the internet if your VPN connections drop to prevent an IP leak. However, this feature is only available to Windows users currently. Another tool that I found very convenient is the Smart VPN feature. It lets you choose a safe list of apps and URLs that can bypass your VPN connection. This comes in handy if you're trying to use a local app or service that gets blocked when you use a VPN. That said though, I don't really like how Hotspot Shield uses bypass and pause as the possible actions instead of something more descriptive. I also don't like that this feature is only available on Windows and Android devices. One more thing I wanted to find out is if Hotspot Shield works in China, which is notorious for blocking VPNs. Unfortunately, the developers are yet to comment on that subject though, and reviews from users indicate there's some mixed feelings there. So whether or not it works is a bit of a grey area, and I'd really not vouch for it. Price and value for money. When it comes to pricing, Hotspot Shield offers three different plans, basic, premium, and premium family. I'd say the free basic version's okay if you just need a VPN for some light browsing, but it does come with its fair share of limitations. For one, the basic plan doesn't allow streaming, so there's no Netflix or Disney Plus there. And even if it did stream, the plan comes with 500 megabytes of data a day, which isn't enough to stream for more than just a few minutes. On the other hand, the premium plan has no data limits and you get access to over 115 server locations around the entire globe. This plan allows you for five simultaneous connections so you can use it on multiple devices or share your login credentials with your friends and your family. However, if you'd like to have more devices or users, you have to add an extra $4 for premium family packages, which supports up to 25 devices on one profile, which is quite a lot. As for the price, the monthly plan will definitely cost you more in the long run, so I'd recommend going with the annual billing plan. If you'd like to save even more, I'm gonna put a special discount code in the description below. Overall, I'd say Hotspot Shield Premium is definitely good value for money, and since it comes with a 45 day money back guarantee, you can always get your money back if you're not happy with it, right? Hotspot Shield has a solid customer support department with standard communication channels like email, a 24 hour live chat, and a support ticket system. Now I was testing out the 45 day money back guarantee because I'm cool like that. So I contacted customer support on live chat to ask for a refund and I got a reasonably quick response. And after submitting my email address and the order number, I got my payment back on my debit card. Booyah. Of course, minus the transaction fees. The official site also has a help center where you can find answers to common questions and concerns. Overall, I found Hotspot Shield speeds, ease of use, and encryption quite impressive. I didn't experience lags when streaming, gaming, or torrenting. Still, I think the basic version does leave a lot to be desired. So if you're looking for a great free VPN, this might not be it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop me a like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth reviews. And don't forget to take advantage of our discount link in the description box below the video. And if you want free VPNs, you've got to watch this video here because these are the best ones on the market.
Thank <laughs> you.